Good morning. So I just woke up at around 9 a.m. and I took a shower and then I made my bed. And um, one thing I did today was make a schedule of everything that I want to accomplish. So um, I have some structure and organization because I've been going to bed at like <laughs> 6 a.m., 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. every day and like. Yesterday, I actually like noticed it was like physically making my body crazy like I started shaking randomly and like It was just really bad. So I decided that I'm gonna give myself some structure today So last night I made myself a schedule of everything I wanted to accomplish today and I'll show you guys that So yeah, this is the like list that I made so I already did all of this I woke up had breakfast I did my English test reading test and I just had a meeting. Now I'm on break making this video. So yeah, um, so this morning I already woke up obviously and then I had like some ACT work that I had to do because I'm gonna do tutoring this afternoon. And now I'm just on my break, but um, when I got out of the shower, I like put my sweats on so I can show you guys like how I choose out an outfit. I've decided that I wanna start wearing like actual clothes during the day to stay more motivated because for the past like two weeks, literally like 12 days i've been wearing like sweatpants like just sweatpants every day and i feel like it kind of contributes to me being lazy so yeah i'm gonna show you guys how i choose out my outfits okay <laughs> so this is my closet i kind of showed it in my last video but yeah on the top i have like a lot of sweaters kind of organize it by like texture i guess so these are all like this like knit or whatever and then these are like stripes and then I have more like stripes and patterns over here cardigans over here here I have a few of my favorite hoodies like I just wear these ones a lot so I hang them up and then yeah these are more like cardigans and these are like a lot of them are the same exact thing just different colors from brandy um, and then down here I have like skirts these are all my jeans I try to organize them by wash and then these are like pants and also like darker wash jeans these are a few of my purses these are just the ones i use day to day and i put the other ones another place and yeah i do it by size so these ones are a little bigger than those here why am i <laughs> why am i out of breath this is embarrassing <laughs> i i need to do some like exercise but anyways um these are some of my dresses and skirts i don't normally wear these ones a lot they're more like for occasions because the dresses i wear and skirts i wear like over here then I have sweatpants and hoodies. And like if I go inside, there's like so many in there. And yeah, those are like gym clothes and extra stuff. And then I already showed this my last video. But yeah, let's um let's choose an outfit. So um I'm trying to think of what I want to wear today. Okay, so I think I wanna wear jeans and maybe like a cardigan. So yeah, I'm gonna choose out, yeah, I'm gonna choose out my like low rise-ish jeans because they're really comfortable and they kind of, they're like, they're like jean sweatpants. So yeah, I think I'm gonna wear these and then I'm gonna put it with, I'm gonna put it with this white cardigan right here, which I haven't worn in a while, but yeah. I'm gonna wear this white cardigan with it and then I'm gonna put a shirt on under. Let's change, don't look! Okay, so yeah, this is a fit. I'm actually gonna take this off because it's a little warm, but when my heat turns off, which it probably will in 30 minutes, I will put it back on. I honestly think like, Getting dressed like helps to feel more like awake and alive. I don't know. I thought that like pulling all nighters every night like wouldn't like affect me, <laughs> but obviously it did. I've also barely been getting ready, um, like doing makeup and stuff like that. So let's do that. So I kind of updated my routine per se. So the first thing I use is this Chanel cream. I wonder what it's called. I don't know. I'll like find out what it's called. Um, but I really like it. It's really good. It's very like rich. 
Ah, uh, it feels so nice. Next, I'm going to use this unicorn essence. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh my gosh, okay. I'm just gonna put this on. I'm not sure, like, I like to include this because I feel like it like brightens my skin a little bit. It also like smells amazing and feels good. It's really like lightweight. And yeah. So I'm gonna use this Tarte concealer. I have two concealers that I really like using. I have this one from Chanel, which is really good and like, it's good for under eyes. It's like made for your under eyes. And then I have this one that I like to use for like blemishes, which a lot of people say I have perfect skin, but I don't. I currently have, I'm pretty sure that's in Patego on my face right there actually. And my chin is always like bumpy and then um, when I had the flu like two months ago or so, it brought out, or like a month ago, yeah, when I had the flu a month ago, it like brought out all the poison in my face pretty much, like out of my body. So I got, I was breaking out here and that turned into impetigo, which is like a nasty like skin rash that I get all the time. And I also have like a pimple there. So yeah, point being, my skin is not perfect. There's no such thing as perfect skin. I think a lot of times like when I take a picture on Instagram or like on Instagram camera, it autom you just don't like see it because it's like very small like red stuff. So yeah, that's my reassurance. So yeah, I just put this here and then I also put it like up here because I saw someone do that in a video one time and like I've been doing that ever since. <laughs> so yeah, um, put that on and then I just take this. Yeah, and then I put this here. I would really love to learn how to like do like full face makeup, like for like events and like be able to like beat my face and do all that. I don't know how to do that, but I think that would be really cool. Okay, so for the Chanel concealer, um, the one I just used under my eyes, it literally like ma it matches perfectly. I just like use my finger. I'm gonna use this brush. I think this is a Tarte brush too. Also, don't judge me. Like I could probably be doing this all wrong. I'm not a professional whatsoever. This is just how like I'm used to doing my makeup and like, yeah. I kind of learned how to do my makeup when I was like, maybe like 10 or 11 or 12 or 13. I don't know, one of those ages, just because I did a lot of like child modeling and being on set all the time, like really like sparked interest for me to learn about like different products they were using and I was I'm such a curious person I always ask people questions and annoy the shit out of people anyways I'm going to be using the cloud paint blush from Glossier I really like Glossier makeup and I love their like branding and I think their like marketing is really smart um like it's so aesthetic and cute their makeup um can be like a little pricey or that's like from what like people like like ugh, that's what a lot of people say but like in my opinion I really like it and I think it's worth it um so yeah it looks like a lot now but I just like put it on the apples of my cheeks and just like use my finger to like blend it out um and sometimes like today when I'm not like tan I feel really pale I like want to do like more makeup so i'm just gonna put on also this benetint blush from benefit which i'm actually almost out of and same thing but this you want to blend it quicker so it doesn't like stain your cheeks a lot next i'm going to be doing some highlighter and bronzer that's a new addition to this routine i don't normally or i didn't normally do bronzer but this is not a sponsored video from Chanel, by the way. They just sent me some of their products and I like actually have been using them a lot. This is like my favorite thing ever. It's like highlighter and bronzer and I didn't used to use bronzer before this, but now I do and I kind of like it. So yeah, this is like the big, like I feel like my makeup routine's literally been the same thing for the past like four years, just like different products, but this is some like development. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna use the this Benefit highlighter I had a really good Glossier one, but I lost it. So we're just gonna use this for now. 
Um, I really like liquid makeup stuff because I feel like it blends into your face more um, and it lasts longer. And again, I'm just gonna use my finger to blend this out. I put it like here, here. I put a little bit like on my nose and a little on my Cupid's bow. I think that's what that's called. Um, and yeah, cute. Now I'm gonna be using the like bronzer. So I lost the brush for this. So I've just been using the like Hula bronzer brush. I don't know if I did that wrong, I probably did. I feel like people are gonna judge me so hard for this. Okay, now I'm gonna use some powder highlighter. I'm going to be doing eye makeup, so let's do that. This is my most important step, curling my lashes. I am half Asian, so my dad's Chinese and Malaysian. My mom is white, like European. So I mixed and I got my dad's eyes and they like, like my lashes go straight and they point down. So I spend so much time curling them. And yeah, anyways, I wouldn't normally do eyeliner for quarantine just cause like, who's gonna see me besides my family. I'm gonna like do it for the purpose of this video because this has actually been like very requested. So yeah, the liner that I like to use is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. It's really good. Or the Glossier Pro Tip Eyeliner. They're both amazing. I like this one better. This is the first one I ever used and like, I've tried so many different versions of it, but this one's just the best. It, um, it works really well. So yeah, um, this is how I do it. I'm just gonna use this like little mirror here. Wow, this is like really good quality. Anyways. So this is how I do my eyeliner. Um, I start by taking it and making like a little line from like from this corner like up. Just a little thin line and then I draw a line from here to here connecting. And then I just fill it in. And then like that, and I'm done. So yeah, that's one wing. I like to make them small and then like, depending on like how big you want it, you can just make it thicker or bigger or whatever. But my mom hates it when I do like thick liner because she thinks it looks horrible. So I just do it thin. So finally, I'm gonna take some, don't normally wear lipstick, but I do wear this one. It's from Lancome. It's so nice. I'm gonna put it on just a little bit. And yeah, that's kind of like my updated, I'm sorry, I just turned on my light now, so it looks so much better. Um, but yeah, that's like my updated makeup routine. And yeah, I guess that pretty much like concludes this video. Love you guys. Bye.